Welcome to this episode of The Voice. The entire state of Tamil Nadu was sent under a state of shock after TTV Dinakaran's aide Vetrivel had released the video of Jayalalitha taking a sip of fruit juice from her room in Apollo Hospital. This totally decimated the claims about her death. But Sudhi, tell me, what impact would this really have on the RK Nagar elections now that it has created ripples across the state? Well, it definitely has the potential to be some kind of a game changer. Uh, having told RK Nagar at length and understanding the demographics and the socio-economic profile of RK Nagar, I would still say that cash is king, money actually speaks in RK Nagar. So the total extent to which this would actually prove to be a game changer in the election in RK Nagar is still to be ascertained. The last word hasn't been really said on that. But two things here, TTV Dinakaran clearly wanted to nullify all the conspiracy theories that have surrounded Jayalata's death and the possibility of Shashikala having had a role in Jayalata's death. Remember, O Panir Selvam had gone to town over it as part of his Dharma Yudham. He had demanded that a probe be ordered into the circumstances that led to Jayalata's death and uh, subsequently a one-man judicial commission was also set up by the Tamil Nadu government. Two, it is RK Nagar which was Jayalata's constituency having won from there in 2015 and 2016. So whoever wins from here, whether it be E. Madhusudanan of the ruling AITMK or the rebel TT Vidinakran, will be seen as the inheritor of the political legacy of Jalta. So that which is why the stakes are very high, the political stakes are very high for both Dinakaran as well as O Panir Selvam and the other party Parni Swami led AADMK, which is probably why the AADMK has been pretty rattled, I must say, as ever since this video was released. And of course, subsequently, the election commission saying that the TV channels should not be broadcasting it, but it has gone viral, which is why the AADMK definitely would be worried and would be wondering how much of a damage it can possibly cause to Madhusudan's chances when RK Nagar goes to polls on the 21st of December. But how about the ethics of it, really? Do you think that uh, uh, politics has hit a new low with the release of this video? Oh yes, without a doubt. On many occasions, if you remember Vidyashree, T.T. Dinakaran had said that though he has footage of Jalta while she was at the Apollo hospital, he will not uh, release it because Jalta was attired in night clothes and therefore it wouldn't really be proper for that footage to be seen by the public and if needed, he would only give it to the one-man judicial commission. So obviously, now that he has released it, he has done that with an eye on his political fortunes in the R.K. Nagar by-election where he is a candidate. But what, while what uh, uh, the suspended MLA battery wheel has done is deplorable, what the AITM can, how the AITM is reacting also smacks of hypocrisy. Because how can you forget what their own senior leader and now minister K. Pandirajan actually did when he canvassed with a dummy coffin in the RK Nagar by-election in April this year when he was there as part of the OPA scam. The AADMK did not think it was reprehensible then. Also the fact that Jalta's voice has been used patched voice over phone phone calls where she's seen, where she's heard campaigning for uh, Madhusudanan and asking for votes for Madhusudanan. If showing Jalta's footage is unethical, similarly one can argue that using a dead person's voice, their dead a former leader, the late leader's voice should also be construed as unethical. So in that sense, both sides really not covering themselves with any kind of glory. They are accusing the other person of being unethical, but really both sides have done many things wrong, both the Dinakran camp as well as the EPS, OPS camp. And really, no one really has a right to point an accusing finger at the other party. Okay, Sudhir, but uh, how do you assess the role of the election commission in this? Well, the less said the better about the election commission as far as this entire RK Nagar election was concerned, whether it be the controversy over Vishal's candidature or subsequently over the distribution of money. There are the flying squads of the election commission who you can see all over RK Nagar, but they seem to be doing precious little given the kind of anecdotal evidence that we are getting at hand, video evidence that we are getting at hand, stink operations which have been done by TV channels that really expose the extent to which bribing of voters is taking place in RK Nagar and this time they have actually taken the theatre of operation from out inside RK Nagar to outside RK Nagar and I was told that several lodges in and around Chennai Central Railway Station are really the hub of operations or at least were the hub of operations in the last one week preceding the election that will take place on the 21st of December. Uh, 
as far as the election commission is concerned it has said that this is election material and therefore it cannot be broadcast on tv channels the question that arises is that nowhere does jayalalitha say that you should be voting for ttv dinakaran so in what manner does the election commission actually define the 22nd video in which there is no sound made by jayalalitha no voice of jayalalitha how does this uh, come under the bracket of election material that is something that the election commission will really have to define but yes uh, at a point in time when a lot of representations have been made to the ec saying that the poll should be re rescinded because there is rampant corruption rampant bribing of voters the ec has decided to go ahead with this tainted election so you are not stopping distribution of cash but you have stop the distribution of this video content the right or wrong of it can of course is another matter and can be debated but definitely this is not an election where the election commission of india has really come out smelling of roses thank you sudeer thank you co i post viewers we shall come come again very shortly with another episode of voice